Hello, my name is Remy Sharp and I'm the author of JSBin.com. In this video I want to show you some of the beta features I've been working on um, and show you how to enable them and how to use them. So the first thing is, this is JSBin when you load up for the first time. Now if you open up the JavaScript console in your browser, um, so I'm in Chrome at the moment but you can do this in Firebug and so on, just type in JSBin.on, this will enable the, uh, the beta feature UI. So if I hit on, I've now got two new buttons, live and download, but I've also lost the save as my template just because that's um, uh, been confusing some people in the past. So we may reintroduce that. To turn off the beta features, you just do dot off and refresh the browser and they'll be gone. Um, but the, the beta flag is, is sticky, so when you hit, when you actually turn it on, they'll stay on. So let's have a look at these, uh, these two buttons. The first one is live, which is a toggle, which toggles this uh, live render over here, which is exactly the same as the preview, except it's constantly updating in real time. So if I change this JavaScript, this was modified, you can see it's updating the, uh, the live uh, panel in real time. So that's pretty straightforward. Um, the only thing that the live panel blocks is things like alert boxes. So if I do alert, hi there, you'll notice there's no alert box because that will block the UI and, and just get annoying. But if you hit the preview, that will actually pop up still. So the second thing I want to show you is the, um, the download. So if I hit download now, it will save the file and give me this new file called untitled.html because I haven't saved this JSBin yet. And if I open this up, in my browser, it should show me the alert box. If I look at the source code for this, I can see um, this is the code that I had originally. So if I go to a previously, say someone sends me uh, a previously saved uh, um, uh, URL. So I've got these saved canvas URLs. Let's go to the latest one. What's there? Who knows? Um, I've just got an alert box here and uh, a canvas. Now, if I bring up the live, I could actually be modifying the canvas in real time. ctx.fill react. 20 by 20, 40 by 40. You can see it actually renders it. And if I if I hit download now on a saved URL, if it's been modified, it will go and save that and download it. So you'll notice the URL here is 51. But when I hit save, it'll update to 52. And it'll ask me if I want to save it. And it, you'll also notice the name of the file has got the ID of the, uh, the URL and the re revision number. So if I open that up, we can see that's the same source code there. It's also got the URL in here, so I can go off and edit that again. Oops. And this is the code I was just working on. So um, those are the two new beta features. Uh, the UI isn't quite right yet. Things like the icons I'm not too keen on, um, and maybe the live, I don't know how that will work, but that's how to enable it. Um, have a play, give me some feedback. If you find any bugs, uh, there should be a URL at the bottom of the screencast to submit your bugs. Otherwise, uh, let me know what you think. Thanks for watching.